Hey friends, welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke chapter 18, today verses 31 to 34. Then he took the twelve aside and said to them, Behold, we are going to up to Jerusalem, and all things that are written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man will be accomplished. For he will be delivered to the Gentiles, and will be mocked and insulted and spit upon. They will scourge him and kill him, and the third day he will rise again. But they understood none of these things. This saying was hidden from them, and they did not know the things which were spoken. So Jesus is on that path. Remember, we talked about it several several occasions ago. He's kind of on that long march, that long walk to Jerusalem, where he'll be crucified, tried unfairly, and executed, uh, and die for man. So this is the long walk to the cross. And now Jesus is beginning to tell them again and again, he's starting to tell them more and more. This is what's coming. But they have having trouble. They don't get it. They don't understand it. It doesn't match their, their picture. They have pictures of, of glory uh, that are different from Jesus' pictures of glory. And if we're not careful, you and I could have pictures of glory uh, that are different from Jesus' pictures of glory in our day. Friend, uh, let us be careful that we are in the Bible, in the Word of God, that we're absorbing Jesus' values and things that we're sure would be the right thing. Well, of course, of course, we shouldn't. Jesus shouldn't be crucified and die on the cross. That's absurd. He needs to be the king. And yet it was in God's plan for him to die on the cross for you and I. And had he not done that, yeah, the future would be pretty grim for us. So it's the opposite of what we might think in, in human terms. So again, God's thoughts are not our thoughts. Let's be true to Jesus. Let's, let's seek and let him inform our thinking. Let's not be too sure of some of our ideas. Let's go back to the Bible, back to the Bible, and let's let him be our instructor. Here again we have a saying, they really didn't understand the things that were spoken. They didn't understand it. Sometimes God does not clarify. Sometimes we walk into a situation and it's a, it's a giant spiritual test. And yet, in, in his wisdom, God does not always put us into clarity on the way. Sometimes we could have been clearer, but we there was a deficit in our experience. We don't need to understand everything. What we need to do is be faithful. It doesn't. I don't have to understand every detail about obeying God. What I need to do is obey him. And he'll fill in some of those blanks someday in eternity. Can't I trust him to tell me about that later when I'm at a, at a better understanding? It might be that there might not be understandable for me right now that item. So anyway, let's pray. Father in heaven, Lord, please continue to be our leader. Help us because we want to be right. We would rather come into tests and trials ready, on, on track, on target with a full understanding. But Lord, be our leader no matter what degree of understanding we have. Help us just to be faithful to Jesus. And Lord, on that note, we'll be blessed. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, friends, just go forward. You may not understand the next piece. I, I don't always understand the next step. But you know what? Just go forward, and God will help us. He'll get us through. May his blessings be upon you. May he make divine appointments for you today, this day.